Hi and welcome at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio and in this video we're going to have a look at SOS Online Backups Backup Procedure. So we're going to test how fast the online backup really is and how the backup routine works. If it is easy or if it is difficult and we're going to review that in this video here. SOS Online Backup is in this business since a decade and you really notice that in their online client because it's so great the overview you get. You have on the right side you have all the restore options, restore online and restore locally and on the left side you have the backup online and backup locally options. So this is really clear cut and for beginners especially easy to start just as that with their online backups. However, I can recommend that you back up your files first locally on an external hard drive, preferably, and then back up your files um, remotely to their servers, because it's always going to be faster backing up your data on a local hard drive than backing up your data uh, off-site on their servers. So after clicking on online backup, you are going to be forwarded to the uh, step-by-step -step wizard and in the first step obviously you're going to select your file so what files do we want to back up and as always we want to back up our test folder i prepared for all the online backup providers tested on cloudbackuping.com and this is a folder of one gigabyte in files with photos and videos and 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 audio files so probably a lot of files that you might want to back up um, with sos online backup and we're going to test the velocity of how fast SOS Online Backup uploads this one gigabyte. And here we are. So in the second step, um, we just want to set up at when we want to back up and the frequency. And here we have a vast um, array of options. So we can set up hourly backups, which is great if you change your folder that you back up often or daily, weekly or monthly backups. You can even change the timing. So for example, you can set up the client to only back up when you are at the office. So you save your home's bandwidth. And, and if you have a slow machine, also uh, the resources of your PC at home. And the third step, you can specify an email address where backup reports are going to be sent. And um, this is great that you don't have to think about, oh my God, is my backup now complete or not? So... Supposedly, SOS Online Backup is going to send you a report to your email address. So, and now our setup is complete. It exactly gives you a summary of what data you're going to back up and, and, and what kind of folder you're going to back up and how much of your quota you've already used at the bottom of the screen. So, and um, then we click just on finish and we see what is actually going to happen. So... What I now dislike a little bit is that there I couldn't really find a status overview of the exact status, where my files are, how many of my files are already backed up. And um, I was browsing a little bit through the client and saw if there's any option to do so, and I really couldn't find it. So um, the only option I found is entering the web client via myaccount.sosonlinebackup Dot com, and there you can log in into your account where you also can restore your data theoretically. But this time we're just want to monitor our backup process. So you enter here with your username, so your email address and your password. And then we're going to click on login. And the only solution I found to really see the backup process was clicking on um, reports at the top navigation and then dig deeper into machine backup details. And there we find a row that is called used space. And here we can see it already has uploaded one tenth of our one gigabyte uh, files. And you have the option to um, update this page and, and, and monitor your backup. I think this is actually quite difficult and quite time consuming. So you might not want to do that. And I would really appreciate if in the next software version, SOS Online Backup would integrate a, a status bar, but probably they're going to do it in the next release of their software. So we're going to pause the video here and we're going to have a look at how fast SOS Online Backup backs up my data. So we are at 117 megabytes and we're going to pause the video and then resume the video when everything is done and then I'm going to tell you how fast it actually backed up everything. 
Okay, and we are back. So our data is backed up successfully and it took SOS online backup two hours and 42 minutes to back up everything. And unfortunately, I didn't get an email that everything is backed up accordingly and correctly. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But the time is actually quite nice. Other backup providers took more than six hours to back up everything. So if you like this video, please vote for it on YouTube and recommend it to your friends and family. If you have a question or a comment, please leave it in the comment section and I'll be more than glad to get back to you.